Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk all things plant-based health and wellness. So I'm in a little bit of a different filming setup here. This is my office. I usually film right in front of this white <laughs> situation behind me, this uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wanted to film this video really quick today because I've been noticing a ton of questions popping up around mushroom coffee. I ride for mushroom coffee. I love mushroom coffee. I've been drinking it for a couple years. I don't know how long exactly, but, and I even made two different videos here on my channel about mushroom coffee. The most recent being about Rise Superfood Mushroom Coffee, which I love and make all the time. And since I noticed these questions, I wanted to make a quick video for you about different ways to actually use the rise mushroom superfood powder in different drink recipes so the first two recipes are kind of the ways that I usually make this I usually have a hot latte I wanted to show you also what it looks like to make an ice latte and then the third recipe is a super fun recipe if you're looking for kind of a coffee smoothie this is what I do this is a recipe for that so I am passionate about mushroom coffee because it's been just such a huge help to, to me in my life. I noticed some really like negative effects from regular coffee. It's weird kind of saying regular coffee, but just the typical highly caffeinated coffee, not to call out specific coffee shops, but Starbucks, I would drink Starbucks. Even if I was at home, I would kind of make a whole French press of coffee and have that. And I just started noticing some negative effects from the caffeine. I started noticing just being more jittery, having trouble sleeping at night. And you know, if this is something like I'm drinking every day, I still wanted to drink coffee, but I also wanted to get benefits from it and not really kind of experience these other things that I was experiencing. So that's why I first dove into mushroom coffee when I heard about it, I was like, this sounds great. It's less caffeine. And then you're also getting these adaptogenic benefits from mushrooms in it. So that's kind of like why I dove head first into the mushroom coffee trend. And then when I found Rise after that, I kind of like really fell in love with it. So let's get into these recipes. If you have Rise, you can kind of actually try these recipes yourself. If you don't have Rise and wanna try this mushroom coffee for yourself, I have a code for you, Lauren Vakula. 15 will get you 15% off your order and you can use the link below the code is down below all the info is there for you below but if you've been noticing that you are kind of running around a lot you're burning the candle at both ends and you're relying on kind of caffeine to get you through the day and you're noticing your body has some effects from that whether that's not being able to sleep at night i know like one of the worst things is when you're super tired and you can't fall asleep at night because of caffeine those are all signals that maybe you can switch something up in your routine so if that's why you're here mushroom coffee is great if you just want to try it and try the like adaptogenic benefits that's incredible too or you could even have your regular coffee in the morning and then if you're used to having multiple cups a day, swap out your afternoon cup or cups for a mushroom coffee and see how that kind of affects your body. If that contributes to better sleep, it probably will. Now, I still have a time frame around when I drink this coffee. I will not go past 2 p.m. Typically, I like to have it before 12, but that's my body. I know I'm really sensitive to caffeine. If you find yourself also really sensitive to caffeine, I would try to get that in at the beginning of your day. And the mushroom coffee, the Rise mushroom coffee, actually has a lot less caffeine than a normal cup of coffee. If you're new to the world of adaptogens, that's okay. I was pretty new too when I started with mushroom coffee. But basically, Rise has six different kinds of mushrooms in their blend. There's cordyceps, lion's mane, reishi. So you have benefits for stamina, stress, focus. There's turkey tail, shiitake, king trumpet. All of these mushrooms have different benefits which is kind of cool because you're almost drinking you are drinking a mix of all of these different mushrooms the blend is said to help with immunity gut health i definitely notice that i really like it for focus when i'm working i would so much rather have less caffeine but these added adaptogenic benefits that can help with focus versus just kind of mainlining a ton of coffee and just feeling like crap by the end of the day so if you want to dive in more to the actual details of the product I'm gonna link up that review video I have on rise you can like dive into everything about the mushroom coffee in that video usually what I like to do is get up 
I do a meditation, I get outside to get sunlight in my eyes, and then I do some sort of workouts, whether that's spinning. A lot of times I'll do like a gentle Pilates or yoga. When I'm doing that, then I like to have my mineral water, and then usually right after that, if I'm drinking green juice or celery juice that day, I'll have that while I go take a shower, and I always, always try to do at least 30 seconds of really cold water at the end of my shower to help wake me up. After that, I'm ready to kind of come into my office, sit down and start work. And that is when I'll really drink the mushroom coffee. And I noticed that Rise, because it does have the MCT oil in, I can kind of drink this on its own if I want and not necessarily have breakfast right away. If I don't feel like breakfast right away, I'm not purposely intermittent fasting or anything like that. It's just, it all depends if I'm hungry yet or not. So I just wanted to say all that because I don't think I mentioned that in my first video. The other thing I didn't really mention all that much in the first video is how it tastes. <laughs> I feel like when I was thinking about, well, how does this actually taste? I don't taste mushrooms at all. And I think that's probably what you'll be thinking if you've never had mushroom coffee that this is gonna taste crazy. Uh, I don't think that at all. I think it does taste like earthier than coffee. I feel like it's less bitter than coffee. And because the Rise blend has a little MCT oil in, it tastes richer to me. So you're basically just taking a tablespoon of the Rise blend and mixing it with eight ounces of really hot water. And even just like that, it tastes much richer to me because it does have that MCT oil in it. Whereas a regular cup of coffee, you don't have the oil, so that's why you get the richer flavor here. And the flavor is also earthier than just a regular cup of coffee. I really like the taste. I love it when I mix it with a froth cashew milk and then some stevia, but I won't walk all through that because I'm gonna show you these recipes. So I will stop talking and we can get to the recipes. <laughs>